All right, guys. It's finally here. It's time to kick off this 2020 season. Um, it's right at around one o'clock right now. I'm heading to go pick up the other guys. We decided um, we were just gonna leave out tomorrow morning and go and hunt the evening. But we decided that uh, there's a bunch of rain coming in from this hurricane. So we decided just to go ahead and bust it, get down there and hunt this morning. So we got about a four and a half drive towards middle to west Tennessee. We're gonna get down there and hopefully kill one before this uh, big front comes in. But yeah, I'll get back to you when we get back with everybody else. Go from there. It's game time, baby. What do you think about it, Jordan? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Too early for this shit, ain't it? Just woke at him up. He was, he's been snoring for about the past hour and a half. I'm, I'm not went to bed. It's 1 30 right now. Do you not go to bed either? No. I tried. I couldn't go to sleep. I didn't try to go to bed. Wonderful, Well, here we are. We loaded up. Headed west. Where are you at, back in George? Just hiding in the shadows. Go to sleep, <laughs> There's Hunter. I love honey bun. What's the verdict, boss? Well, gotta beat that rain this morning. With that whole, what is it, that hurricane, I forgot the name of it. Katrina. It ain't Katrina. It's coming in though, and it's gonna be piss pouring all day today. And so we're gonna try to get in here and beat it and hunt until lunchtime and, and then I guess this evening I don't know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be piss pouring, I don't know. I brought my spotlight. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going down here and see if we can bust one out the window. Definitely put that on YouTube. Shot in or yeah. yeah, definitely that's definitely going on YouTube. Yeah, it's uh 1 30 right now. Our yeah. motor. Our motto this year is to send it no matter what. So, yeah. brush shots, long range, spikes, spikes, herd bulls, herd bulls, peak bucks, peak bucks. It don't matter this year, we're sending it. We're gonna get y'all kills this year no matter what. Yeah, we're looking for magnums this year. Magnums and herd bulls. And then, if we get that lucky, you know, that once in a lifetime, that ultra magnum, that's what we're going after. Tell them about the donkey butter. We got about 50 gallon of donkey butter up here on the tree. Yeah, we do. <laughs> that <laughs> shit's fucking got them. We're hating it right now. They about tore the, tore the bark, bark off the tree. I don't know, I mean, we got, I got two cans of Jeepy or Peter Pan in my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna use it as a cover scene as I'm walking in. So we'll see how it goes from there. To give y'all a little advice for these early season hunts, we highly recommend using a black rack. Make sure you rattle. Frequently, extinguish hurt calls. Deer extinguisher gun calls. If you ain't blowing that thing every 15 minutes, and you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so we'll show y'all how we do it. Hopefully, we'll get some kills. Yeah. yeah. Coming through Nashville about it's three o'clock right now. That's pretty. Yeah. I wouldn't want to live in there, but. Really? We like seeing when we start putting some big ass bucks around here. It's a tight stadium. Right up there. Yeah. Nissan Stadium. Me and Hayden are up. Everybody's up and active. <laughs> we had a good ride, smooth, no traffic. Everything loaded down.
You say you have to have a face mask? None of us brought face masks, so. Oh, you have a hunting face mask? Let's get ready so you can get it out. How bad do you have to poop? <laughs> get the full camouflage on now. It feels weird. We had a cold snap come in. It's about 78. <laughs> 78 for 90. I got my long johns on today. There's a big grunt and rattle in this one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Perfect one. We're at full swing right now, mid-August. <laughs> oh, shit. Getting fired up. See them hunting shoes right there, son. Mmm. But seriously, though, we may kill one because it's about to rain about 10 o'clock. Yeah, so if we kill one, we're, we better shoot it good because that rain's going to come in and the blood trail's going to get well. We got to shoot it on like a track. <laughs> in the rain? <laughs> Calling the dogs. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it, boys. Yeah, let's go after it.
Well, after the morning hunt, got food, hotel room for the night. We can put the boat. What do y'all want to do? Put the boat in the truck or what? Tell them what's going on, Jordan. back in here. Um, we got lucky and the, the weather forecast actually ended up moving through a little bit quicker than we thought. So we got about two hours before it gets dark. So we're going to climb up here. We're hoping to catch these uh, bucks coming back through here heading this hay field behind us. So when we get up in the tree, get quiet and uh, hopefully that big egg that we had on camera, I'll post that on the video. He came in a couple days before us. Hopefully he comes in with that back trigger for bucks and some shots at some good beer, so stay tuned. Well, there they guys. Hayden is in the process of climbing a tree. I literally just got up here. Hayden, I oh, take right there. Oh, but
her this morning, seeing some does and that little buck again, that little four corn. So um, we decided we're gonna push in a little bit deeper because we just ain't seeing no bigger bugs. So we're gonna get in there a little bit deeper as far as we can go. And hopefully this evening we'll see him. If we don't see nothing this evening, we're gonna make a move to where Jordan shot at that buck this morning. Uh, we'll be in that area, so we'll see how it goes, but stay tuned. Hey, dear. We've seen a bunch of puke bucks though. Are you video? A bunch of puke bucks or seems like two puke bucks? <laughs> You're right, we've seen <laughs> the same puke buck. <laughs> same four pointer. <laughs> ten times. Yeah, in two days. I'm firing up at him. I got a feeling this evening. He blows these goats. Well, he blowed at me this morning. I didn't give it a bow. So that's the motto here at Running Wild Outdoors. If they blow, they go. We try not to do that to little bucks, but in this certain on certain circumstances hunts. here. Yeah, he's on his he's pushing it is what we're pushing trying. it. He done took his last leg out this morning. <laughs> it wasn't because I hated Macintosh. He would have died this morning. I wouldn't even felt sorry about it. Well, or if they miss a big one, then you go for the little. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and tell them tell them about that, huh? So Jordan, as you will see, has already missed. The biggest buck of the whole trip so far. We we're hoping to come back in. I'm going to be shooting. If we get a smaller buck, Jordan's going to go ahead and shoot at it again. <laughs> Just kidding. We actually we didn't give Jordan too bad of a tongue lashing. Yeah, no, we took it easy on Jordan. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty pissed. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to start the tongue lashing. Or if we don't kill anything on this trip, yeah. he's definitely getting a tongue lashing yeah. on the way back home. Another encounter that's going to get rough for Jordan on the ride back home. So people don't make fun of me this evening. If the full partner does walk by, he's probably going to die. All because he wanted to act like an idiot this morning. <laughs> that is true. Um, hey guys, so just to show y'all kind of what we're setting up on. We're right on the edge of a thicket, which is right here in front of us. Basically, we this gap in the fence that comes through, and we also found these persimmons are dropping actually out of the trees that we're climbing. And persimmons is a food source that deer really love to eat, it's real sweet for them, and uh, you'll find those a lot in the Appalachian Mountains and stuff. There'll be some wild persimmons, but we're gonna hunt these persimmons. Hopefully, them deer are coming out here to eat these persimmons in the evening. And uh, I'm talking real quiet because we're real close to the bedding area. We're gonna get up in the tree, it's about 3.30. Uh, and we're just gonna settle for the rest of the evening. And I hope that these deer are coming here to be on these percentages. So stay tuned. Yeah, that's right. We're still in the hotel room. Yeah. Third day of the hunt, it rained. We jacked up, kind of slept in a little bit, but it was raining. So. This, this is the wrap. This, this, this is it for the 2020 velvet hunt. So Jordan had the only opportunity. Yeah. Bam. You missed it. Yeah. We'll see. We got Kentucky next weekend. Yeah. That's right. I'll be there. Stay tuned for Kentucky. Uh, a little bit different we got public land to hunt and we're gonna be covering a lot of ground so um we will get some opportunities next weekend so stay tuned and uh, we'll have this video uploaded this week so tell them where tell them where we're at hunter we're here at nathan's wildlife taxidermy down here in Cookville, across from tennessee i didn't even know i guess this is the replica of the this is the replica which of it. was it was the world world record for a little bit but really this is not the deer, but really, you don't have the. I mean, like, you look at some of those ones, like the frame, he just got a crap load of points. He does. That is Th wild. But this is Wilson's taxidermy, guys. We're picking up one of Adam's deer here, and we're just doing a quick walkthrough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean,
Yeah. yeah. That one in right there. And uh, I got the, the IMAX set. Because I got, I originally got the Lodge Pro. Did you tell them about that Lodge Turkey? So I got the new Lodge Pro. I don't know. 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 I